Hey everyone, just before this episode begins, I'd like to just apologize for our audio. We were having issues when we recorded this episode and the previous episode. And about halfway through this episode, the our voices get really robotic sounding. Uh, but everything else is good besides that, so please enjoy the episode. Thanks. Now 20. 20. Welcome back to Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our adventurers killed uh, four Shardana mages that were attacking them throughout the city. Uh, as well, Aelrintel met a man in white who gave him a new quest in order to come back to the living. And that is where we left off, so I, I will start with Aelrendel. This man has just finished talking to you. He says you're free to do anything in this afterlife that you like. Sweet. Um, can I, is the king there? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna roll to see which god he worships. That was a ten, so let's see what kind of roll he What are you gonna do? I don't know. Just gonna talk to talk him. some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time we tried to save you and then you failed to run away? <laughs> you ran away popular. He's just singing like crazy snappy down. This is gonna get cut off. Cut off okay. So we can say whatever we want. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we can help each other in combat to give advantage on ability checks. But we would never. Did you, did you zap you? <laughs> zap me. <laughs> I'm trying to use more of my key points, because if I have one key point, I can use the action, oh, so yeah, I can attack, can and then I can dodge, so the next turn they have disadvantage and on their attack rolls, and I have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, the king worship the goddess Latander, so he is not in the same afterlife. Shame. Um, do I see anyone that looks familiar to my companions? Oh. Uh, you do see your grandfather walking back in the distance, and as well you see an old schoolmate who you realize was named Arthur, who died when you were in, like, probably like three quarters through whatever school schooling you had. He died of mysterious consequences that no one really ever knew about, though. Yeah. Yeah, Arthur. <laughs> um, Is he in Arthur? <laughs> what? <laughs> do, do you not understand? No, don't From say it. I'm not show Arthur. Oh, you didn't. Oh. You shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Was that the a reference you were making? Show. No. Oh. That's a really odd, specific detail. I'd be like, hey, this classmate <laughs> died from mysterious circumstances. <laughs> um, but do I see anyone that resembles like these, like these guys in my group? No, you don't. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious, because maybe if I saw someone who looked like, like you, it could be like a relative of like your father or something, and then I could like learn about you guys. So. Yeah. Do your fucking worst, mate. So like, do any of you guys worship, uh, Lyra? The god, she's the goddess of joy. If that's just all we do. I forget what god I, re- I fucking, <laughs> I put in my backstory, let me check. I don't okay. worship him. But I don't think it was Lyra, it was someone else. Okay. Was well, the sorry. goddess of knowledge and stuff? Yeah. Okay, shut up, you fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> you silly willy. <laughs> yeah, so you, d- you don't uh, see anyone who looks yeah, like they have any relation to these guys. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go talk to that Arthur kid. Okay. Uh, as you approach him, he sees you and he's like, Al, Al, no, uh, Al. Al Rendell. Al Rendell. Al Rendell. Yes. You, you died? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. How'd he die? For now. Um, oh. I, uh, I got stabbed by this, <laughs> by, <laughs> often, man. by this, uh, big, badass looking dude that I tried to fight. Oh no, did you at least do a lot of damage or uh, almost yes. kill him? I, I completely, like, he was like, it was a pretty fair battle. If I do say so myself. Roll this up. Probably <laughs> the fairest of them all. Um. <laughs> that was a gross one. <laughs> <laughs> 16. 16. <laughs> what? I have a minus 2. <laughs> uh, you, you do convince him that he did 
quite a bit of damage. He, nice. He does think you probably exaggerated a little bit, but yeah. Okay, sweet. So at least he believes it. Yeah. Um, I say, uh, what about you, Arthur? What happened to you? Oh, uh, you know how, like, how old are you again? Your character? Two? Um, I don't recall. You're just an eight-year-old. Um, I think it said in my backstory, but I don't recall. You should always have an age. Yeah, but I'll... Girls are like over 100. Yeah, well, he'll say, well, you know how we were in school together, and uh, there's one time where my father and I ended up going into the woods to try to fight some uh, giant spiders that were coming around the town. Right after we finished defeating them, uh, my father just disappeared, and then I was looking, at, trying to find where he was at, and then. Seven goblins came around and took me, and eventually they killed me. And you also realize that, uh, you do know that his father did come back from the, like, whatever disappearance. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I say, uh, that's, that's really sad. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a fun time. I wish I could have done more to stay alive or kill them. I wish I hadn't have done. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna be quite honest. Yeah, I'm still alive. I'm gonna be honest. I wish I could have lived a little bit longer. You know. So, uh, is, is there anything fun to do in the afterlife? <laughs> uh, well, what a great arc. <laughs> yeah, Amazing. I didn't really think of much stuff about this. Sorry, it's uh, a Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you can meet anyone who has died who worships. This god, who I forgot the name of, the Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's one of the main things, and there are also some places where you can actually watch what's happening in the life on the planet. So, like, live TV? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Just sits there for, like, the next few um, sessions. I hope you're ashamed of yourself. It's, it's called Snitch. Nice. That's <laughs> solid. Um... Alright, uh, do I see killable Kyle up there? <laughs> uh, you do not, and, uh, when you met him before, you did see a symbol on him that, uh, was about the goddess Illyra, but you don't see him anywhere around. Still kicking. <laughs> um, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look down upon my companions and see what's up. Okay. Uh, so, so at this point, you see, uh, you see, uh, Lazarus carrying your body, and then you see him toss you down and throw a short sword at <laughs> the guy, and it hits, and, like, a couple other people have kind of just come around and we're watching this, and they all, like, cheer. It's like the game. <laughs> <laughs> She's my favorite cheer. I love this shit. There's, a, like, an announcer going, Oh, and he got the body. He's <laughs> gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Take your bet, sir! Corndog! Who was a corndog? This really became something. <laughs> Sweet. Um, Did you see the epic gamer moment where Lazarus fucking drop kicks two swords into a man's heart and his other left or his right thing? Like yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then a few seconds later, you, everyone, you all see Lazarus, uh, Lazarus running towards the guy who two sword starts to act, and he jumps. And kicks both so, both of the swords like further into him and kills him. And all of them are like, Oh my god! Oh, oh, what a finish! Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Replay on that. <laughs> Slow motion, zoom in. <laughs> that was epic! <laughs> uh, I wanna be like him! I kinda just know. say to myself, I'm like, well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> and you do see all the other stuff that happened uh, after that during the battle. And I'll go back to you, you guys. Cool. See what happens when you connect with your attacks. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, this session, the very first session, you did fuck off. What are you talking about? It just uses that. magic that he doesn't have to do attack rolls. Yeah, uh, basically. <laughs> I killed, I'm pretty sure I've done the most damage out of everybody. Yeah. Yeah, uh, hey. is that what clerics are known for? Doing the most damage? <laughs> <laughs> if we look back, uh, you'll see that my accuracy percentage is clearly the highest. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan is broken, not a lot. Yeah, so you guys have <laughs> just killed all these mages and are in the courtyard or marketplace. Alright. What would you guys like to do? 
Well, um, that was fun. Uh, Ryan and I, we found a uh, surplus of money. Uh, so if we just take little old alien dust, decrepit, uh, useless body uh, with us, we could probably we could revive if we hurry to still be now. I guess we should get a move on then. Yeah, right. Alright, right, uh, I'll pick up Alien and I'll sling him on my shoulder and be like, I guess we'll head to the alley then. Hopefully she hasn't fled, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you sure he's dead though? And I'm just gonna kinda of slap his corpse yeah. right in the face. <laughs> no, he's 100% <laughs> dead. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you not know, see there, the is there is any the way, way, if I like, is there any way I could communicate with them? Like, if I say something, is there no. an No? Nothing? Alright. Well, just saying, you better come back before we spend 250 gold pieces on your dead 500. 500. 500. 500 on your dead ass. Okay, well, I, I spent all mine before. Uh, <laughs> saving the prince, so. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so we'll start rushing to the boat, I guess. Okay. Should we, uh... Let's casually walk. Well, we have the opportunity. Should we, uh, check out the old item shops? <laughs> I think that might be a. Uh, Didn't you say that I was thought we were in a hurry. But, yeah. I thought we were in a hurry. Yeah, that's true, you just said how much. I know, but opportunities like this don't uh, come uh, often. Yeah, how many days boat yeah. ride is it, too? Uh, be, uh, it's still uh, speech. Like, like chainmail is 16. Yeah, it'd be same as chainmail, but you uh, don't have disadvantage. What's that? Or I guess it would be 17 and you don't have disadvantage. Okay. 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 Uh, I want it. What is this? Oh, man, go get it. That ultimate armor? The mithril armor, yeah. Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah! Whoa. Ryan's gonna steal something! <laughs> oh, boy. Well, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I wouldn't consider it to be theft, per se, because, like, I'm assuming we're gonna go and rescue all these people that just got kidnapped, so... Once again, you're assuming it's payment. I'm <laughs> I'll return it at the end. Wow, Ryan, you're all about them advances, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they won't complain if we get them back home safe and sound. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm game. I'm gonna steal some shit, too. <laughs> all, right. all right. Let's do it. Let's so fucking let's go. Let's go to this uh, armor shop that we were at. What was it called again? Yeah, I think. Uh, it? Yeah, I think no, that was the boxing yeah. shop. Uh, uh, it was... Oh. The best or ultimate shop. Yeah, so... That armor would just be normal 16, but you don't get disadvantage on stealth, and there's no strength armor. Alright, Jeff, over here. I'll get rid of my little stealth. Uh, there's best defense. Armor best weapon defense. shop. The yeah, best, the defense. best defense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got it all right here. Yeah, so you go to the best defense, and you see this armor just listening in the light through the window. Amazing. And... To you, it seems to be calling to you. To everyone else, it's like it's armor. Uh, it's just, oh, uh, really? Okay. I'm, wait, I'm gonna go up and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna throw alien dust bodies in the window. Crash <laughs> 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 his body now. Yeah, I'm like, we're gonna. <laughs> what? I want to break it in, or I really want to. I want to role play this whole scenario here really well. The okay. door is probably yeah. Yeah. unlocked. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm gonna go try the door. Yeah. I really wanted to so role you, play. So you this. open the door, and then right as you're doing that, he just kills <laughs> Alien Dog's body through the door. To the wizard. Through the wizard. Through the wizard. Shattered glass. My glass isn't broken. No, I'll climb through the broken window okay. and pick up his body again. I'll be like, okay, I won't do it again, but. I I just, I couldn't help myself. You do notice there are a lot of, like, uh, there's a lot of blood just from cuts from their ass. Is there any glass <laughs> stuck in him? Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> I'm just gonna go pull that <laughs> out. He'll be fine. He's dead. He's not gonna complain about it. Uh, it takes you, like, about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Maybe like two minutes, just because there's so much. Yeah. Wow. Jesus. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, so I uh, while this is happening, I'm just ignoring it, and I'm gonna okay. take off my chain mail and put on the metal armor. Okay, cool. Is there anything else around? Uh, there's weapons of all kinds. Uh, the mithril armor seems to be like the only thing that was really, really rare. Is there a silver longsword? Uh, there is. Yes. I There is only one silver longsword. I'm going to get rid of one of my longswords in exchange for a silver longsword. Okay, silver dagger, because I should probably. If having silver weapons would actually be helpful. Did you pick up that pop that dagger with the ammo? I thought that was just a given. Okay, I'm not going to leave my expensive shit later on. Alright. 
I don't feel like I need to roleplay the fact that, oh, I pick up all the shit I threw. All right, I brought you some shit. Okay, from now on, I will mention it, but I pick up all my important items. Thank you, okay. you did my body after you threw it through the window. <laughs> yeah, but that was... <laughs> I'm going to grab Arendelle's arms and just try and the boom. Okay. I'm not sure I have to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Ali is still at the ship. She's like looking really worried and really nervous, and she's excited that you come back. Oh, um, I hope everything has been going well over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no problems yet, no problems yet, but I, I heard those two loud booms, or actually three loud booms, and I was worried about you guys. Oh, uh, that, that was, that was just us kicking ass. Okay, I'm going down, I'm down, I'm down. No problems here. Um, do you have a place I can put this body in some kind of dragon? Oh, that's, that's <laughs> Aaron Dahl, okay? Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a that's a lot of blood coming out of him. <laughs> yeah, like a cooler or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dead fish. <laughs> uh, we yeah, can put him up to his mouth and back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can just put him in the storage with all the other dead fish and stuff. <laughs> all right, um, amazing. Now, where, where's that? Uh, it'll just be down the strap door. I'm gonna get the regret coming back alive. I'll go down there and just toss the body down. I'm raising the block of ice so it comes back to life. <laughs> Actually, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna cast Ray Frost to like stop the bleeding on his wounds. Okay, sweet. Just minorly. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> it works to just like talk to the bleeding. It would also cauterize it. Yeah, I don't want to risk burning him alive That's, though. Yeah, I mean, you do have a history of setting things on fire. <laughs> fucking dolphin. So that means. Uh, I'll go back to you, uh, Ayla and all, so... Sweet. Or actually... <laughs> uh... Okay, I'll go back to you after this next time. Okay, okay so fair. you guys are still in the shop, uh, you're still doing some stuff. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Um, uh, well, I take the silver guy here. I'm uh, satisfied, I'll start heading back with the ship. I mean, the only thing I could think of, like... Because Blaze doesn't really care about money or like stuff, but he needs like, he's got an official dagger collection. I'm looking through my weapons list and I have three, four, uh five, six daggers now. Uh so I'm just like, is there any other interesting item of weapon weaponry? Uh not like really. quarter staffs the, or the rest are just like regular weapons. Oh, okay. quarter staff is No, is there okay, but there Okay, I didn't tell the fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> any, like, stabs? If you want a quarter stab, just take one of the ones that the mages had. Oh, I don't want those. Okay. Uh, sure, it was pretty lame. When you look at the quarter stabs here, they don't seem to have anything special, like, they don't seem to extra in view to the tower, but there's one that is made out of, uh, like, pure mahogany, and then there's another that's, uh, pure white staff that ends in, like a crescent moon at the top. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll take the the white staff. Okay. I mean, I can always uh, use bathrooms because I'm very fond of mine, but I'm not gonna just you know the free shit. There's also <laughs> one that seems like it was made uh, from a really old and like grizzled tree, and it's like shaped that it inter- intertwines with each other itself up all the way up to the top of the staff. Okay, well I took my, I'm only taking the white quarter stuff. Okay. Uh, was there anywhere, anywhere else you guys want to go in this, uh, city? I can tell you all the, uh, things. Uh, that's right. Sort of there in the last one. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So just close the door and then just find a comfy spot on the boat to rest myself. Okay, okay. Crow's Nest, probably. Crow's Nest, yeah, we'll make it there. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Is there any place I can get my donation cards? Yeah, you could probably find them at a, uh, ha- either Randolph's Goods, uh, Patty and Pandora's Provisions, uh, there would also be, there might be something in one of the markets, if one of the salts wasn't, like, being down yet. I'll go to Randolph's. Okay. So this is just a, like, regular supplies store. Okay. And you do find a few sets of good nation cards. Do they have, like, price tags on there? Uh, what, what did they do today? I don't think they do anything on the Okay. Pick up a card and go and tell. Okay. Fate, I guess. Okay, okay, yeah, uh, so they are all, uh, five silver pieces. 
I mean, I guess you could pay. So, <laughs> I'm gonna meet my lucky loan group okay. on the table mm-hmm. and take the divination cards. Okay. Frame them. <laughs> <laughs> That's his calling card. <laughs> He's a rude guy. Fuck you, Logan. And was there anything else? Not for me. Uh, okay, so uh, everybody's headed back to the ship? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys head back to the ship, and, uh, Ali is super excited that you guys have all survived and super happy. <laughs> super <laughs> alien. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she asks you where you guys would like to go next. Well, yeah. can you guys all roll insight checks? Easy. Ali's a oh, secret yeah, spy. <laughs> She's a spy. 18. 18. Give me new truck! <laughs> Five. <laughs> That's, you got it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I got five. Insight? Yeah, I got ten. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Farron and Ryan, you, the two of you believe that the portal might have been going to the depths that, uh, Artemis, the main guy, mm-hmm. sent all the people down to. And you get that assumption from the crystal ball that you would have to mm-hmm. So, like, the, the big dude that killed him, that was the nose. Yeah. Okay. You don't know his name, though. Yeah, yeah. but, yeah. yeah. I will hold on to that information. Yeah. The portal's gone, though, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, but I'll turn to Allie and be like, well, um, as you can see, uh, we have a dead guy. Uh, we should probably, probably get him all better again, so we're gonna make our way to Steelsby. Okay, 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 yeah, still speed. Still speed sounds good to me. I can take you there if you want. The Shadow Dog does have a price on our heads. He um, does, but our friend said. Do you want to remind our friend? Would you guys like to go straight to Still Speed by boat, or would you like to go on land and then just travel there? Just go by boat. Just go by boat. Why would we want to take the long route, Allie? I do want to take it on myself. <laughs> that makes no sense, Allie. We might all die doing so. Oh, sorry, I stopped listening. What are we saying? <laughs> <laughs> Blaze sucks, man. I love Blaze. Fuck you. <laughs> you threw it through a window. Blaze is such a whimsical <laughs> Don't be salty, Tony. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, will answer you and say, Well, I, I, I knew that you weren't good with water, so I thought maybe it's like you would go on land for the rest of the way, but I just wasn't sure, so I thought I'd ask. No, it's cool, Ali. Uh... I'll suck it up. We're kind of an emergency. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you want to get there as soon as possible? Yeah, we'd like to fast travel. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> <soon. laughs> and she'll uh, get her thing ready to start sail. And she'll ask you guys if you could, since you're in such a great, if you could use gusts of wind or whatever if you. Yeah. Sure. Great, 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 great. You got to stand there for so long, going wind. Go on, whatevs, man. Being like jazz hands, you're like, we can, uh, we can take shifts. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> I will blow you out of the crow's nest. I'll blow you back in the crow's nest. <laughs> I'd be impressed if you could do that. I could do it. <laughs> oh, let's see that. Okay, uh, as you, you guys have sail, and I'll go back to Aylor and I'll. <laughs> um, so are you still just watching? The yeah, I watched all that happen, and uh, I witnessed him slap me and got thrown through a window, um, <laughs> and he dragged me and thrown at the fish. Yeah, so when they uh, throw you through the window, uh, a couple of the people who are watching look at the camera, look at you, <laughs> they like, Take no burst out the glass, and they burst out laughing. Wow. Uh, and, people are dicks. Um, and they just give you a pat on the back. Happens to and all of our bodies. <laughs> one of them gives you a beard, then yeah. Wow. <laughs> the outline is just fucking amazing. It feels like an NFL Sunday fucking rock party. I'm just chilling out, like, I have a beard, bro. Don't worry about it, bro. I just give it back some because I don't drink. Okay. <laughs> Ten <laughs> <three teams. laughs> Uh And then, as as you and the other guys watching, uh, watch them set sail. A couple of them are just talking and they're like, why didn't they take the cane to revive? Why the fuck wouldn't they revive the cane? I totally <laughs> forgot about that. I was going to mention that. <laughs> fuck that guy. And then they're just like, oh well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Is so um, there anything else you'd like to just to do here? Um... There's anything that you would be able to do in a normal town, like there are places to buy goods, do drinks, uh, places to watch, like, what's happening in different places around the globe. Um, I want to take a look at what else is happening in the globe. I want to see what I see. Okay, uh, anywhere specific? 
No, just uh. He's gonna waste time until he stands out of our goal. Wherever. It depends on this, though. Okay. Uh, so. You kind of flip through the channels, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually won, uh, lands in still speed. And you see, there are two things you see in still speed. One is the king trying to, what looks like trying to block something. Nice. So it is with other major players in town, including Travadoff. And then you also see a group of Kind of, well, a lot of them, them, them seem homeless or not too well. They seem to be plotting something too. And when you ask people who are also watching this, they tell you that there's a rebellion that's starting. Or that will probably start soon. No. So, two of the major cities have been overrun and are now completely empty. <laughs> and the other one's about to start a civil fucking war. <laughs> wow. California is in ruins, man. Was there anything else you want to do, like check in on um, in Speed? Is no. Um, is there, uh, check up on the prince, man. Yeah, make sure Cock Ren is doing fine. <laughs> Just come back. Actually, where's Cucka Carl? <laughs> what did happen to, like, I guess he would have been taken away. Yeah, he was taken away. Oh, uh, poor Cucka Carl. <laughs> is there a channel that shows me kill Mikhail? <laughs> uh, there is a channel that, uh, as you look, uh, you recognize this roadway as the roadway to the mall? Yeah. And, yeah, the kids were going south when you were going to Snow Speed Road. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they were, I think. So, you see, was it four kids or three kids? Three kids. Yeah, you see yeah. three kids, the same three kids that you saw uh, on your pre- previous travels. Will to survive, uh, kill Kyle and, uh, Sora. Yeah, oh, good yeah. memory, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> Killable Kyle seems to be all bloodied up, like he's got blood dripping <laughs> from like all over him. Uh the other two are a little bloodied up, but not as bad. Nice. Uh you see Killable like to walk off into the woods. You assume he needs to go to the bathroom again or something. <laughs> and as he walks off he uh after a few minutes or after a minute or so you see the two others, who will just survive on and Sora, just run to where he went through in the woods. Oh my god. And when it, you get a close up, you see that, uh, he was caught in, in he was caught in a bear trap. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. It feels like they're watching a hundred years. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and you just see the other two kids trying to help him out of it. And eventually they, they do, and, but Killable Kyle is still alive. Wouldn't you want to check on your parents? You literally have the power of God in your hands. You can watch anything happen, and you just pick the most random <laughs> shit. Yeah, what are how that weird dude's doing? What are that little kangaroo rat doing? Love that. Nothing else? Um, oh, the deep film. <laughs> <laughs> did, they, did they start their rebellion to break free of Shabbatog slain or can't they? Find out next time. <laughs> I just, the world after dark. I just like, I just like, Search them up or however, and it just shows like a few tombstones. Like, just, <laughs> just dead. Now, now that's what I call a deep mill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> Six feet under. <laughs> Were you the one who had the the drums of comedic dive timing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you guys do a roll perception check right now? Dude, easy. Yeah. I got a solid three. I got a solid. Ooh, shut up! <laughs> twenty. Nah, uh, not that twenty. Yeah, twenty. Twenty-two. Oh, sorry. Eight. Uh, more. Okay, so Blaze and Lazarus, you hear from below you the sound of like a drum going <laughs> just randomly. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And that was ex- that is lined up right when you said it seems like the deep gnomes are real <laughs> deep gnomes now, <laughs> and you did see that they were in there in. You said you didn't see two of them in graves. <laughs> oh, oh, I was kidding. <laughs> okay. Um What about the deep gnome that could sell us all those diamonds? He's probably doing well for himself. <laughs> <laughs> um Was there anything else you wanted to hear? Can I see where um what's his nuts is? Yeah, that's helpful. Who's that? What's oh, his nuts? Artemis? Artemis, yeah. It's another king here. What's his nuts? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, something else. He is on a large ship. In that 
you assume is eventually probably going to go to Maul. Either Maul or Still Speed. You're not sure which direction it's going. Still speed. Nice. Okay, sweet. Uh, okay. Uh, is there anyone in this afterlife that can tell me what the marbles do? Uh, you do see a witch <laughs> around, like, just walking around who <laughs> you think you might have, who seems really drunk. And, and then you revive. Oh, yeah. and, and you don't have time to ask. <laughs> it, uh, she does look like she does match what what you assume would be the witch who created the marbles. What are the chances? And I'll go back to you guys. And she Amazing. also. Uh, 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 is there anything specifically you guys are doing on the ship? Uh, I declare a team that. meeting. I definitely think we should go back and get the king. I'm gonna start cutting off Arendelle's arms what? and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I I declare a quick team meeting by the bow. Uh, I'm like, listen, guys, there's been a lot of confusion. Uh, I think we need to figure our shit out real quick. What's the plan? Or you still want to go to Snowsby? Still have my present. Yeah, well, I called the team meeting, so you just kind of came out and joined the team. <laughs> 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 fucking grown up. I see what your character does. Well, I understand that going to Snowsby is not exactly in our best interest, because there's a lot of uh, <clears throat> shit there we don't want to deal with. Shabadon doesn't like us. Uh, but uh, at the same time, I don't... I, I mean, sure, he wasn't always the most helpful dude, but Aliendale is our friend, and uh, I insist that we bring it back to life. To save one person, we might all die. You're right, let's not go! Yeah, <laughs> No, but uh, uh, but uh, also, uh, if we're going to go, we need to plan ahead, right? I mean, we got to be ready for everything, because Shabbatow is going to come at us. Where was this deep gnome that knew where the depths were? Bear snack? Yes. Yeah, he's he's still snack. Beast snack, sorry. Bears. But, uh, Bears. Uh, that's killed Beast Kyle. Snack. <laughs> Beast snack, he's in, still, I, I thought I told them that. You already. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. But I did tell them that they were, they were, you were using Stillsby. So, like, Stillsby is probably the best place to go, and also the worst place to go. It's just we have no other choice. Exactly. You're so edgy, bro. <laughs> okay, soft game. Such a soft game. Oh my god. But, uh, what about you, Ryan and Baron? What do you yeah, guys feel? This is a nice. This is a this is a team meeting. This is a safe space. Uh, uh, Why did you have to go to Silsby in the first place? I know, but is there anything you want to add? We should go back and get the king's corpse so we can revive him too. Why? No, I disagree with that. Why? Why should we go get him? Seems like the right thing to do. We just got that thousand gold pieces <laughs> from the king. <laughs> You're right. He, he's, it'd be ironic for him to pay for his own revival. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, that's what I call life insurance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't hear what they're saying from the afterlife. So that much. I was gonna say that. Um, yeah. yeah. But uh, fine. We'll, Ali, Ali. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, put an anchor or turn around. One of the two. Uh, we have to go get the king too. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I was kind of curious why <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna revive Aelendil, but not the king. <laughs> I mean, right? Uh, sure, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, she'll turn the boat around and head back to Sweet. the branches. Falling out of that in the first place. Let's save all our time. And effort and say, oh look, we grabbed the king, we went back to the ship, and now we're back in the king's <laughs> okay. I don't really want to roleplay that 25 minute yeah. scenario. Do we really need to get the king now? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really should. I mean, we should. It's a, it's the right I guess there's really no point in not doing it. So you guys get back to the branches, you guys take the king, you back to the ship, and you guys have sail again to your speed. And that is where we will leave off on this episode of Nat 20. Yeah.